The Who's Roger Daltrey has spoken to CBS 2's Elisa Siegel about past voice problems and how important it is to have good health. Well, today he's speaking out for a very different reason. He joined other rock icons to make the lives of teen cancer patients better. He is certainly a rock icon, and it was a big day for Roger Daltrey of The Who and Robert Plant of Led Zeppelin lending his support to his friend as Daltrey announced the Daltrey Townsend Teen and Young Adult Cancer Center at UCLA. The teenagers all across the board deserve to have their own space and be treated in a slightly different way than children or adults. It, it can only improve society. Townsend couldn't be there but sent this message. Let me just say thank you, my personal thank you, to everyone who's giving Roger and I a chance to uh, help in the future. Hey guys, how are you? This video from UCLA is where the center will be. Daltrey got to tour it with some very courageous teen cancer patients. It's the first of its kind in the U.S., supported by the Teenage Cancer Trust, which has built 19 specialty units in the U.K. Sarah Sterner is 17. A few years ago, she was diagnosed with brain cancer. She's a survivor now and says a designated unit for teens and young adults will make a big difference. They're trying to make the teenage cancer wards kind of like dorm, dorms almost, so that you have a common living area where you can go hang out with your other teenage cancer patient friend, and or you can be in your room on your own. It's, it's a really great concept to have. Daltrey tells me helping teens with cancer is something he's fortunate to do. After all, without teens, he wouldn't be where he is. My life wouldn't have been anything like the wonderful experiences it's been thanks to their support. This is a two-way street. It's a team effort. And as he brings this concept to the U.S. for the first time, he has a message for other rockers and artists. I've lit the fire. You Americans have got to keep that fire burning you know, and turn it into a, you know, a blaze because this needs to be changed, it needs to be recognized, and the teenagers deserve it. And this guitar signed by the rock icons themselves will be the first piece on the walls at the new center at UCLA. I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News.